So hello, I'm back again, back with another pen review. And the pen I'll be reviewing today is the... The Hero 006 Fountain Pen. It's quite a nice looking fountain pen. And it has this dragon pocket clip. And it's quite an effective pocket clip as well. And if you really don't like the dragon pocket clip, you can unscrew the end like so and just lose all the bits of the pen and then you can reassemble it and it turns out looking very neat look how great that looks without a pocket clip you hardly even know that it even had one except for that tiny little notch just there okay let's put the clip back on let's um so here is the fountain pen part and i have one of the standard ink cartridges that it came with. It does post very lightly, so probably just shake the cap off. No, oh, so it's pretty good actually. And the cap also goes on very lightly. Anyway, what should we do with this pen? Oh, I think I'm going to draw something with it, yes. I'm going to hunt for something to draw. That's what I'm going to do. Go in a bit of a, a draw hunt thing. I found art and it takes in the form of a cow. You curious cows? What are you curious about? Run, run Persia! They're after the cat. Are you trying to eat my cat? Have you had a hard life, have you? You poor cat. I have next to zero complaints about this pen, especially considering how much this pen actually costs. It costs like um, next to nothing, basically. There we go. It is the worst looking cow ever drawn. The way this pen cap comes off, it just comes off too easily. I'm putting it away. And then you just if no one knows what you've drawn, just make it say something to make it obvious, you know. Moo. See? It's a cow. Like that. A spitting image. What do you think? Any good? You don't like it? I don't like it either. I've never managed to draw a single thing that looks any good while standing upright. This, this cow here is being very good. It's just standing there for me, like a model. You're a good looking cow. Oh, now, now it's moving. Who wants to replace this one, huh? What about you? Do you want to replace? Come over here. Come on. No. Hello. It's a work of genius. Mm. So what do I actually think of this pen? Well, it looks somewhat nice, I must say. If you're into this kind of dragon-themed pen bling, my only real annoyance with it is that, as I have said before, the pen cap just comes off too easily. Like, watch. That's all it takes. And it posts very lightly too, and... It doesn't take much for the cap to just come off. But besides that, it's quite a capable fountain pen. And considering how much you can buy these for, for like, um, I think I looked them up, I saw you could buy them for about $5 with ink cartridges included, straight from China. So I would definitely consider buying something like this, as opposed to a disposable ballpoint pen, because you can reuse it more than once. Not only did my model come with five ink cartridges. It also came with this refillable piston converter. It is one of the most cheapest plastic piston converters I've ever seen. But it seems to work quite well. It even comes with a little uh, plastic shaker inside because sometimes the ink does stick to the top, you know, with these tiny piston converters, so that's very good. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you.
Now the actual writing experience and also drawing experience I suppose with this pen is actually pretty good. It's not the most smoothest nib I have ever used, but it's not scratchy by any means. It just has a bit of, you know, feedback to it, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. A bit of feedback does help with line controllability, I must say, as opposed to having something that is completely slippery. This is another terrible looking cow. Also using the nib upside down, with my model that is, is actually surprisingly smooth. So that's a good thing. So it's capable of making some quite fine lines. Actually, no, going this way is a lot rougher than going this way. If I squash it down a bit. No, yeah, that's better. Now, as far as the grip on this pen is concerned, it's, um, it's not particularly well optimized to be super grippy. The textured part here, which I believe is some kind of metal, it feels quite nice, but it's vaguely slippery. And I put ink on myself. Oh, Dye-based ink does not come out of skin so easily. And this smooth plastic section, it has these little indentations on it, which I think are meant to help, but it only does so vaguely. But fortunately, this smooth plastic is slightly more grippier than this textured metal part. But the actual grip section is, um, I don't know, it's a bit slightly too narrow for my liking. Now, before you buy one of these pens, um, I'd just like to give you a word of warning about the quality control. In my personal experience, the quality control of a Hero pen is not that great. In fact, this is the only Hero pen I have ever received out of China, which is actually of acceptable quality. Yeah, you know, I've purchased another Hero fountain pen years ago. The ink flow of that was like, really really bad and I've also bought those Hero technical pens they were of abysmal quality I don't know how they even left the factory and one of those pens there was even a part missing I mean they were barely usable so there's always a chance of you buying this particular fountain pen and uh, saying oh wow it's the greatest fountain pen I've ever purchased and then you might buy another fountain pen and it's like the worst Fountain pen, horrible scratchy mess. So you don't know exactly what you're going to get. You'll probably get something quite good. Who knows? But um, there's always a slight possibility of poor quality. So therefore, I would recommend that you don't spend more than $5 on one of these. And maybe if you can get some ink with that price as well, that would even be better. But So in conclusion, if you're about to buy a disposable pen, you could buy one of these instead. A reusable pen that you can reuse like five times with the ink cartridges that they come in. You could probably just keep on using this for years. I think the quality is high enough for it to be used for years. It's actually quite, it's got a bit of weight to it, this pen part. A lot of metal. This thread here is plastic, but the thread in here is actually metal. But saying that, there are many other fountain pens you can buy from China as well. So you can stop buying disposable ballpoint pens. <laughs> I don't like disposable pens, even though I buy them anyway. Yeah, so another brand you could look at is Jinhao. And in my experience, Jinhao has slightly better quality control than Hero. Because I haven't bought a Jinhao fountain pen which hasn't worked. I should have made the tag on the ear my subscribe account. What is it, 670 or something? Six, I can't remember. I can't believe I have over 600 subscribers. That's ridiculous. Almost 700, I think. One of the reasons I find that so ridiculous is that one of my goals of this YouTubing thing is to become a YouTube channel that I would want to subscribe to. And currently I'm not there yet. So I want to really thank all of my current subscribers for having lower standards than me. That's really nice, thank you. It means a lot to me. Mm hmm I might make this cow say moo just in case. There we go. I should have drawn a dragon with this pen. That would have been more fitting. Okay, anyway. Um, oh wait, I can fix that. I'll give this cow dragon looking wings or something. Whatever they look like. Something like this. Ruining it. Ruining it. Is this pen getting rougher? Is it the more I draw with it? No. It's all fine. Okay, goodbye. I'm still here. Bye.